Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 and today I'll be teaching you guys the best class setup for the Kilo 141. Now, this is so right for the way I have it set up. It's uh, to pretty much be strong when it comes down to medium range combat. The accuracy is pretty high, it is pretty stable, and also the, the range is pretty much maximized. So this assault rifle can actually help you out for medium range combat, a little bit for short range, for some odd reason it's still not consistent for short range, but for long range distance, it can actually make some damage. So it can pretty much be an all around weapon kinda, except for short range combat. Sometimes you can pull off a miracle or two from short range, but when it comes down to medium range and long range, so it's more consistent. So uh, let's start off with uh, going to the gunsmith. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about will be the monolithic suppressor. Now, this attachment will allow you to keep your range or actually add more range to the weapon while being also silent. So, at the same time, you're going to be keeping your stealth and pretty much sneak around the map without getting caught every time you shoot your damn gun. So, this is kind of important because it increases your range. So, that means your damage will always be there. This is the reason why it's always strong for medium range combat. So, uh, the damage never goes away. It's always consistent in damage. So so far, I have not failed with this assault rifle. It has been acting up pretty good with the monolithic suppressor. It's acting pretty strong, so I suggest to use it right now so you guys can test it out and see for yourself how accurate it still is, even with the monolithic suppressor, because I know it adds a little bit of weight. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about will be the Prowler, the uh, Singard Arms 19.8. Now this one's a little bit of a uh, complicated because I know people are gonna be saying like, why not the Whisper? Why not the Socom? Because I know the Whisper comes along with the suppressor. Like uh, if you add the Whisper, Whisper is going to be a little bit more uh, less accurate. It uh, it does go all over your goddamn screen a little bit, so it takes a little bit to like really control the recoil. With the SOCOM, it's a little bit good, but you want to maximize the range. That's what you want to do. I know it might slow you down a little bit, but when it comes down to a little bit more close range quarters, maybe switch to the SOCOM. But for right now, I want to maximize the damage and I want to maximize the range. So that's what I did, and that's exactly why this gun is always strong for medium range combat. And not only that, I mean the bullet velocity increases so that means your bullets are always going to get to the enemy's body right away so it increases the rapid fire and also it has a little bit of recoil control along the way so uh, the damage is always going to be there and it's going to be fast and it's always going to be at a good distance so that's why it's a little bit consistent when it comes down to long range combat also it is super strong for medium range for long range it keeps a little bit of the damage from the medium range distance so uh use the Singard arms 19.8 i recommend it to maximize the damage and the range the next attachment i would like to talk about will be the ranger foregrip now this is very important because if you want to actually make some damage for long range combat this will actually help it stabilize it so it has a, it has a recoil control aiming stability so that means you can have a lot of control when it comes down to distances which is why the medium range combat is always accurate it's always there so no matter what you do the bullets are always going to be arriving towards the enemy i mostly hit get headshots with this goddamn assault rifle just because of this attachment because it's so controlled it's so so settled with this attachment so use the range of foregrip to you know pretty much add more accuracy and be more stable when shooting down the field next attachment will be the stock now this one the reason why i have it is because i like to kind of like aim while moving and all that stuff you know i kind of i kind of want to juke out the enemy and i recommend to use it in order for you not to feel too heavy out there in the battlefield because with all these attachments i mean you're you're heavy you're not going to be very mobile so when it comes down to aiming you want to keep that you know sprinting speed but not super fast of course but it's still there you're going to be able to move while aiming and i suggest to add it on because it's going to allow you to juke out the the, the enemy's bullets i know it's still going to hit you but not to the max damage so add it and you'll see the biggest difference on why you must have the forge tech ultra light so i know compared to these other ones some of them increase the aim down sight speed and you know pretty much uh this one also the no stock increase your movement speed you know it's not going to be good because your recoil is going to be all over the goddamn place so to maintain a little bit of the accuracy add the forge tech ultra light this is what i use this is what allows me to kind of survive out there when it comes down to like large firefights because i can actually escape right away while aiming so um the next attachment will be the optic now this one you can use whatever you like i personally use the optics mini reflex it gives me a little bit more of a 
of a close range combat, medium range combat kind of thing, you know, going on. And of course, it gives me a little bit more of a clear sight. To me, this is clear to me and with this Assault Rifle. And I tried out other sights too, but I believe this one's the best one for it. So I've been doing pretty good with this one. Been averaging at least more than 28 kills a game with this gun. It's pretty darn good. So uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the attachments for this weapon. Uh, like I said, the strengths of this gun, it has a lot of freaking medium range combat damage and it's pretty accurate as hell. It's the most accurate assault rifle I've ever done in the history of Call of Duty, to be honest. So, um, yeah, so it's, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the Kilo 141. I said just to use it, abuse it right now before they nerf this goddamn gun to, to, to oblivion like the shotguns pretty much went to. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more best class setups or more tips and tricks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, subscribe for more. It's going to be more stuff like this coming up.